Welcome back to the wonderful Aurora 4X. Right, little recap. Um, we are in Alpha Centauri. Um, somewhere here. All this writing on the screen. A lot has happened in that one attack. And I think it's obvious that we are doomed. Where are we? Let's put it over there. Can you see it? We're, those troops are... I'll, I'll do, I don't think we can even get them off. But what we will do is we will put them onto ground forces. We can look at these guys and we're going to put them into um, a field position of um, oh, frontline defence. You're already frontline defence. What are you? What position are you? Frontline defence. Your SSFA is frontline attack, isn't it? All right, frontline defense. Oh, that will act. now it will change them. Right, frontline defense and frontline defense. So the plan is, and I think they build fortification while they're there. The plan is to stick around for as long as possible in the hopes we can learn as much as possible about these guys that we are up against um, we're not going to learn much so we'll just have a recap of the battle so this bit here shows us um, what happened the first mountains have attacked zero penetration so our attack strength of our troops which are unit class infantry heavy powered armor improved weapons we've got an, an attack of 10 and do damage of 8 that is not it's not getting through their armor so we know that their armor hits 7 armor penetrated 0 against the combat wagon that's got more, more, more armor the battle wagon we managed to actually penetrate 1 through their battle um, their battle wagon but didn't destroy it so we're not doing enough damage so we're doing enough well, we're not really doing enough because 24 hits and only one penetrated. I guess that might have been a positive roll, a good roll for us. Um, again, no penetrated um, against the the AA um, tank. The battle wagon HQ didn't even didn't even get. I mean, it might be they are strong enough, but with their defence, they're dug in. Maybe they've got more fortifications. So we're not getting through them. We're not getting through any of these. So we need we need stuff that does more damage. Is is your first is your first point. Um, this is the summary. Just says the attack. Pretty much the same as as this, but it doesn't tell you. What does it tell you? Attack mountain versus the combat wagon. So that's the. All, the, uh, all, all of them against the all of them added together, I guess. Yeah, 235 hits was all these against combat wagons, of these troops against them. Um, so we got through penetrated armor, one battle wagon, and one AA tank, but not enough damage. So we need more damage, more penetration to penetrate more, and more damage to actually hit more hit more to kill and we're not killing them um, didn't kill any of them um, ground attack summary ground attack summary nothing element loss um, they hit us 541 times penetrated just over half and we lost every single one that was um, that was hit um, obviously the morale dropping again We've lost the HQ straight away, so we've got no bonuses anymore, no uh, no control. Um, yeah, every time they penetrated, they hit. So our um, our um, hit points. So these are the units that we we've got basically the setup of what we got. Um, Armor 20, hit points 10. Their weapons are doing more damage than 10, 
and their penetration is probably higher than 20 or certainly around the 20 mark because they they are they're getting through most of them new alien ground unit we now know about the battle wagon which is a medium vehicle um, we think it's got weapon number one a one shot penetration 60 gets so that gets through everything kills 60 so anything that shoots it kills weapon number two has six shots it can do penetration of 15 which is close to ours we, we've got we should have armor of 20 so i'm not sure how these are getting through and damage 10 well the damage 10 is wiping us out because we've only got a hit points of eight no we've got hit points of 10 actually so damage 10 it equals it so it kills it so it no well it does at least damage 10 then i think that's possibly what it is so we know that all their weapon number twos um with six penetration um Oh, sorry, p to penetration 15 is getting through most of our armor. Not we are not surviving these. Um, lost summary. We lost a lot of troops, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, things are not going great on the battlefield. Um, ultimately, our um, our drop ships have had it. Uh, this one's already back at base. Um, I think what we'll do, we will unload the mountain number two. Lucky, lucky people survived that because of a mechanical failure. The ship didn't make it. Would they? Would that extra group turn the tide? No. Would it have? Would it have helped? Yes. But that's not what. Why we didn't survive. Um, these drop ships here have got 43% fuel. They are at waypoint three, I believe. Um, maybe they're not. Where are they? Oh yes, drop ships. Yeah, they're at waypoint three. Um, go back here. They're at waypoint three, and um, but they haven't got enough fuel to get home. So waiting on the Aberdeens. What's Aberdeen, this Aberdeen doing? He is on his way, standard transit. Um, give me the fleets, fleets. And where's my dropship fleet? That one there, uh, join the fleet. Aberdeen two is going to refuel. Um, so you're a long way back. And you are already nearly so. We'll wait for that. Our first Aberdeen 100% fuel. He is. Oh, he's just leaving. And he's just on the way back. So we're a little bit short there. So we know we need these Aberdeens um, to help us out. Um, what else do we need? Um, let's check out what we're doing in terms of our shipyards shipyards where are we perhaps building uh auto miners being built the belfast is the fuel harvesters i think we're okay for fuel at the moment what's this the terraformer is still be still being built um the two aberdeens of are being built and we're building four drop ships. Okay, brilliant. Excellent. That's all good. Right, what's our next plan of attack for this? Because we're going to do two prong. We are, number one, going to leave those aliens alone. <laughs> At the moment, we're not ready for them. We do need to build some more ground troops. I'm not really sure that's not the one I'm looking for. Is it that one? Yep, here it is. It's over here. Okay. So we are going to build more than just troops now. So we're heavy armored, uh, heavy powered infantry. That's fine, but we also need so heavy powered infantry with not just improved weapons. Right? What do we got? Heavy cr served crew. They are going to do a armor piercing of twelve, which is two more. 
and a damage of eight, which is the same. Don't think the damage is enough. Don't think he's getting through any of them. But you do six shots, you get six tries um, instead of just the one. So maybe that would be a good idea. That's a he like a heavy machine gun, rather than what we got at the moment is um, um, this one's more like a good rifles. Um, these are like low powered machine guns. Armor piercing eight. They're just not going to do the, the job. I'm not even sure twelve is going to do the job. And we know that the occasional armor piercing has not done the job. Um, Let's go back. Let me just double check because we know they got troops, don't we? The bad guys, whatever they're called. Where, where, where's? Oh, I'm just trying to understand. It's over here. So when we got through, um, where is it? Not the battle wagons. Not the combat weapons. Have they not got troops? Warriors. So I guess they're troops, aren't they? They got one shot, penetration of 12 and a half, and damage of 10. That's doing us. I mean, they might not. They might not be doing a lot of damage. Um, it's these weapon twos that has six shots. Penetration 15, damage 10. That's what's really ripping through us. And I think they've got a lot of them. Do we know how much they've got of anything? I mean, they've got 4,300, nearly 4,400 units of something that we don't know with a makeup. We might find out more about what they've got later on. So maybe we'll we'll find out a few a couple more attacks or something and see whether we find out more information about them. Um... But we do know that we are hitting the combat wire. Well, let's see. Have we hit any of their... It doesn't look like we've hit any of their troops. It's only been against the vehicles. Yeah, we haven't hit any of their... Tr I, think, I think before we start redesigning, I think we need to find out whether we get any more information. So we'll do, we're doing that. We're getting better dropships and with more tankers and I think we also need to design ourselves a thermal and EM sensor ship because one thing I realized um, is this one is the ships our survey ships which we are using to go and look they've got active sensors on them wide view give me the wide view give me the wide view there it is I can never find the wide view there we go um, we have got an active sensor, but that's not picking up this um, this this base thing that's down there. I think we need thermal or E. This is, I think these are more. I think these are more looking for um, for ships. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe that's. Yeah, but these are not picking up no matter how close we get. This massive, a really good active sensor is not picking up stuff. Let's have another look at that sensor. How do we get onto it? Is it that one? Open, no. Open technology report. Is that it? Did that open? No, class, class design. Technology report. Here it is. Active search sensor range 151 million, resolution 100. Okay, size 2005. So if we have a look, what that is um, giving us. Bring that here. Active search sensor, search sensor. Uh, we might have improved these by 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 then. Um, possibility. It was a size of 2,500. So, um, whole size, uh, 2,500. Resolution, 100. Where 
where does it say the resolution there? Resolution, oh my, 100? Wow, it's not that. <coughs> so that would, well, this one would find a 5,000 ton object or larger at 281 million kilometers away. So something smaller would still be like a 250 ton object would still be 703. But that's not picking up anything on this planet. And I think you need thermal sensors for that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't know. Maybe you do. So there we go. Here we've got the, the latest tech. Um, I don't think we need to hardening it. But we want to basically a fairly well fairly good one a signal strength of 10 from 3 million kilometers away I mean that's probably that's getting smaller isn't it um, how big did they go Oh, they go proper big. Um, so I don't think we need it that big, do we? I think s the smallest signal strength. Um, and I can't remember how close we get. Let's have a look on the screen here. I mean, I don't think we were being attacked until we got to about here. So it was at 10 million kilometers. So we want to find something. That's fairly small. <coughs> Excuse me, from 10 million kilometers. So we go with our smallest thing, 10.5. I think we're going to do that. That we're going to make this. We are going to make this. 600 tons. Create that. I need a ship that's going to do this. You can also get something called just an EM sensor. Again, I don't really understand the difference between the active sensors. I think active sensors are, are just stronger. They get further. But anyway. EM sensors. Again, signal strength of 10. Is that a thing? I mean... I don't know what the signal strength is. Let me have a look at... Luna, for instance, I think it tells you here what you're seeing. EM is 2,900. Okay, so what about our ships? Does it say what our... Um, okay, let's just say our, our, our ship here. Has it got a signal strength? Uh, does it tell us? Our that's got thermal of three hundred three hundred thirteen EM. It doesn't have any EM at all. Zero EM. Is that likely? I'm not sure. Let's go into here and then see whether there. You've got your active sensor on. So do I now see an EM speed sensor range? Because that's the active sensor. Do I see anything? Ship combat, admin, logistics report. No detail, no repair. Yep, no good near me to sort those. That's fine. Um, nope. So if you go to the ship, that might help us. EM is still is still zero. We got active. Does that mean it's off? Disable, enable. They are all on. I'm sure they are all on. No, no EM for some reason. 
Um, what about the drop ships? Do they have anything? Because they're EM is still zero. I'm not sure what produces EM then. Okay, so the thermal is three one three. That looks similar. Is everything three one three? Stevenage. Dropship. Oh no, you're you're eight hundred. Okay. So your thermal is eight hundred. So we still our our sensor should be easily pick up this sort of thing from a long way away. So okay, that's fine. EM sensor, well. So we just make it the same size. That's a good plan. What did we, what size did we make the other one? I can't remember. Um, will it tell me here? No, because I've not made it yet. Okay, will it tell me in my research panel? TH12. Twelve one six eight. Twelve one six eight. So change that back to thermal, and it's a twelve. All right, three four. Twelve one six eight. So it's a size twelve. Six hundred tons. So let's make an EM detector sensor size 12. And that should be just what. So, yeah, size 10 would get just short of it. So let's create that as well. We're going to put these on the ship. I don't know what they do, but I think we're going to have more of a chance of working out what's going on over here with different sensor types. The, the active sensors are not doing what I expected. Um, oh, let's. Let's see whether we can improve upon the active sensor as well. Because our active sensor, go back and have a look at that. And we've got the latest and greatest of that. Um, it's a search sensor. Don't need to harden because nothing's attacking us as such. Resolution. I think I want to make it a smaller resolution than we had before. Um, I want to like maybe a thousand tons and then the size will determine how far away we detect a thousand tons is that right so again if we do if we do size 12 again that should detect it from a long way away we're going to create that. That's going to be our three sensors on this on this ship. Um, I should have prototyped it, really, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, but we might. What we might do? Um, close that. Give me that. We might use these points here. Uh, research on Earth sensor control. Uh, we need to refresh it. Research on Earth sensor can control. What have we got? Yeah, that's power and propulsion sensor. Here we go. Right. Uh, so there's our EM sensor. Yes, yeah, not much. So we'll just instant that one. The thermal, we will instant that one. And the active search sensor, instant that one. Just makes it a bit quicker. Right. Um, we are going to need to do an engine as well, aren't we? Something a bit more efficient than these engines that we're running. So yeah, let's do engine now. Um, engine. I mean, it can be it can be a military engine. That's no problem. Power. I just think I'm going to leave that power as one. Um, thermal reduction. I don't think we need to worry. And fuel consumption. So just really how much power we want really uh, engine power's going the wrong way right make it 
bigger. So that's a roughly what we got in terms of the um, uh, our current engines, which I'm going to view the tech onto engines and bring that in here. That's what we got at our disposal at the moment. Um, so we had a 312 um, size. So if we go to a size of 5,000. That's what we were using before. It's pretty big. Oh, it's the biggest you can get. 5,000 will give us a 1,600 with a fuel con fuel use per hour of 252. Can't see what it is on those ones. That's a shame. I don't think you can anyway. want to see what that one was doing. You can't do it, can you? Oh, efficiency is 0 0.005, which is it's that one, isn't it? I would guess. Oh, no, it'd be this one here, wouldn't it? So to be 0 0.005, that's where, it, that's where it was back there. So if we do the same everything it's a 480 um, let's make it smaller and more powerful how does that sound so let's make it a size 50 so it's a smaller engine so it's um, does that use more yeah yep yeah. and we'll go a bit more powerful Maybe not all the way to go. That's a way to get 400 and odd, much less fuel per hour there, rather than that one. So what about a uh, 75? Gives us a nice round 600 power. That um, shift us around an awful bit quicker, won't it? Let's prototype that and see how that all fits in with everything so ship it's not really a survey ship is it it's kind of a survey ship though isn't it uh, what else have we got it's actually it's gonna be a, a absolutely it's a scout basically isn't it literally is gonna be a scout we're gonna have the new Survey. Am I on wide view? I am. Oh, I've got mate. All right. New ship class scout, and we're going to rename the clout the class as scout, and we're going to call it the year, which is zero three zero. And this ship's going to have the um, the smaller more powerful active sensor can you have both you can that is looking at a GPS what does that GPS mean I don't remember um, is that the size of the vessel you're looking for um, yeah so it's 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 much smaller and we've got stuff there. oh here we go we've got the stats, stats down here so resolution against there so it's much smaller uses a lot less stuff 5,000 against 1,000 so it sees a smaller object at like half of the um, the distance but a smaller object um, you'll see a 250 this one this is the bigger one we'll see the 250 ton object at 392 um, thousand kilometers and this one will see the same small object at five million so I think this search engine thing this search one was just looking at far too bigger um, object couldn't see it because it was such looking for much much bigger objects 
So there we go, right. Command and control, what can we look for here? Combat Information Center, that might see some things. So we'll add that. Um, damage control, no. Uh, what's this? Electronic Intelligence and Analysis Module, Strength 5 or Strength 6. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Maybe we'll find out. We'll add one. EM sensor, we're adding it. Engine, we have decided to do... to probably put this one in, haven't we? There we are, 6,000 currently. Let's just go back to that. Fuel storage, we'll come back to. Do we want to put any of the survey things in? Don't think so. Do we want to put the military jump drive on? Because then we could use this one to go into the planets, the systems first. Let's say that we do, and we might change our mind. I mean, we might be able to design a better one than that as well. Because that is 2,000 tons. Um... Jump point stabilization, no. Magazine orbital mining, no, no, no. F yeah, terraforming module, thermal sensor, yes. Okay, what have we got now? Okay, that's made it a lot slower. Half the speed, right. I think the military jump drive could be improved. So, what side are we looking at? We're looking at 7,000. 2,000 of that is the military jump drive. Let's have a look. And see whether we can make it okay. We'll ignore that because it didn't look good. Um, jump drive um, efficiency eight, so I'm sure that's a much better one than we had before. Um, I don't think we can see that. Um, yeah, maximum squad size three. That's absolutely fine. We don't want bigger than that, do we? No. Squad radius, uh, yeah, we just stick to basic. Okay, just getting upset, I don't know why. Um, size one, military. Right, what are we looking at here? It could do 400 tons. We want it to do nearer 7,000 tons. So if we can make it do, let's say, seven and a half thousand tons this jump drive is only 950 tons okay that is interesting that might work for us we could use the rest of that space now for um our fuel and our um um refresh tech our fuel and our uh, engineering base and stuff like that. So, let's put that one on. So that is a smaller thing. It only does that. So that means how much uh, distance we got. Let's go a bit further than that. Uh, fuel storage. Fuel storage standard that's now gone to 100,000. That's 25 billion. I'm gonna add. Am I gonna add one more? Add one more. Right, that's 37 billion. Kilo. I think that is more than enough. So, yes, right. What are we gonna do now? We want to add on. add anything combat information sensor we've got auxiliary control bridge flag bridge main engineering not sure what they do anyway right so how long do we want it to stay out for um so if i just by default say two years that takes it mostly up we're dropping our speed a bit Actually, I want to add seven layers of armor. Jump engine is too small for this design. By how much? By a bit. Okay. Okay. 
that's fine we might take a bit of the fuel off if we take a bit of the fuel off we might add it back on again don't worry um, it still does 21 billion are we good no we're not good that's no good at all we need to increase the size of this jump engine for sure right let's get the rest sorted though uh, maintenance life that needs to go up engineering please so that all takes us to 1.6 years um, with 449 that's not too bad a bit more storage I think for parts which is maintenance storage let's put in just a normal one that gives us a little bit more doesn't it quite like that that's quite good we need a slightly bigger engine we need to do eight eight and a half thousand tons and I might add the fuel back so we do eight and a half thousand tons back to the component design jump engine size we need to go eight and a half thousand does that look good yes prototype that and remove that and refresh tech refresh tech and I guess it's that one isn't it eight and a half thousand tons there we go uh, good we've got a bit of room let's add what do you think more fuel we'll add one more fuel um, you've got plenty of maintenance life that's all good for two years um, and we could add some more storage we've got a fraction of space you see so if we went maintenance storage this will go over no it won't that's fine um, is that hot chocolate for me oh thank you Thank you very much. Lovely. Right. Is it fast enough? Three and a half thousand. It's not quite as fast as I'd like it to be. But it goes far enough. It's got loads of maintenance life now. It's got too much maintenance life. You need to lose some engineering space. Yep. Um, that makes it a bit faster. Anything else we can trim? We have 200,000 fuel. I think that's what we want. I think that is good. It's got a good amount of armor. I think this is it. I think this is our scout. So our scout there now needs to find somewhere to be built. Um, well first of all actually before we do that we got techs that need to be where's my scout scout what is it there's a button here somewhere research tech or something like that design tech no research tech if I got to click on yeah research proto Research Proto. I think that's the two, isn't it? Yes. Hopefully I've done the right thing on those sensors and they are going to be good for what we need. I'm not going for massive distance because we're checking out planets as much as finding ships a great deal of a distance away. Um, right, we need to find a shipyard. We have got... We have got... A 20,500 shipyard that can build it for us without having to retool for anything. Stevenage, do we want? There's only 5,000 different. We may as well build it there. It's not really where I want, 
the drop ships I need, the tankers I still need. I don't I don't know why they're being built in a naval one rather than a commercial one. Because this is really for this one. That I need to increase the capacity by um, uh, 2,000 <coughs> to do that one, which I think I'm going to do because I don't want to. These are for the military stuff, the big shooty ships. Um, 8,500, yeah, that's what I want. Um, set that activity. Select a shipyard or that one. Select activity. <clears throat> right, the Belfast, that is a large one, that one. I think we need to build another commercial shipyard complex as well. At uh, 25, we'll build it. Um, <clears throat> but when these are, these are finished, that's fine. There's no massive rush. Right, gosh, we how long have we been? 41 minutes. Um, scout ship is now underway we haven't even clicked go at all but this scout ship is going to give us a much better idea of what's on that planet there's more than than we thought <clears throat> um there, there are lots of troops and things like that um we need to find a way of hitting that sdo we're going to, so this is going to be built these scout ships are going to get built as soon as this gets increased which will be done does it say here nope Shipyards upgrade, it doesn't tell you, it just says time, it won't take long. Um, and then once we built that and start and then set it going, retool it to the to the scout, we will um, start coming out here. But we are gonna, should we just move forward and just see how, how badly they get destroyed? Right, there's another tick. Um, right, so this one, they're every hour, hour, eight hours, by the way. So hostile forces, um, battle wagon. Uh, oh, we got, oh, we got a better idea. So they got 541 battle wagons, 133 combat wagons. Uh, 64 anti-aircraft tanks and 4,606 of the warriors plus 192 of something that we don't know about. So the first mountain attacked again 82 shots, two hits. So we got two hits on it. Wasn't doing enough damage. Seven hits again, no damage against the combat wagon and then the battle wagon. They're just too tough for us. Just, just going ping off their armor. Um, the AA tank, four hits, no penetration. The HQ, three hits, no. Uh, no, three shots, no hits at all. Um, two shots, one hit, one penetrated. Oh. What was that against? Against a reef supply vehicle. Um, yeah, something we haven't got in our troops. Uh, resupply vehicle uh, penetrated, but it wasn't even enough to, hit to destroy their per their supply vehicles. Uh, we attacked their AA tank, penetrated nothing. Battle wagon, nine hits, no penetration. Combat wagon, um, no hits. Battle wagon, no uh, HQ, um, no hits. Uh, battle wagon, 15 hits, one penetrated, but none destroyed. Uh, combat wagon, um, 115 shots, three hits, none destroyed. 135 shots, two hits, no penetration. Um, four hits, no penetration. So that's no good. We penetrated one, two pieces of armor, um, three pieces of armor, but not enough damage. We're just not dealing enough damage. Combat wagon, um, again, nothing. Um, didn't kill anything, and now this is the losses. Here we go. Uh, they attacked us with something, we don't know what. Uh, 500 
and 25 hits. 280 penetrated the armor and we lost all 280. Ouch. Um, third mountain, um, 197 armor penetrations, 197 deaths, so all deaths. A new ground unit been detected, the resupply vehicle. Um, and we can't even kill them. Um, 333 hits. Um, 187 penetrated. So I mean, we are our armor is ricocheting some of it, but some of it is getting through. Um, and the fourth, um, the HQ one hit one penetrated. We lost all of our HQs now. We got no HQs. Um, lost summary lost a bunch so there that's where we're going to leave it that round next episode we'll see what happens in the next round of attacks and see whether we can get um our scout up and running um but in the meantime thank you very much indeed for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye